I was pretty critical of Steeplechase Arc last episode, right? I mean, I think a lot of people share the same sentiment, but maybe I had misplaced expectations of what the tournament arc should have been only because I was comparing it direct to season one where it was so important. And in this season, apparently, it was not that important at all. Everything is just quick set up until like this Yotsuba arc. So, hey, hopefully moving forward, the Yotsuba arc or something that's going to be covered is going to be peak. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, it's our trap cousin. Yeah, did they? I don't know. They skipped all that shit, bro. Fancy letter. To the mansion of the Yotsuba. Yes. <laughs> That's gotta be the richest thing ever. Like, you have a letter? And then a servant's maid offers you a letter opening knife on a fucking plate. I can't, I can't even imagine, fathom, <laughs> like, how rich rich you have to be, how classy bougie you have to be to have this kind of culture. Just fucking open it with their hand. Shoe cooking. We can decline it, but I doubt we're allowed to. It's probably a double-sided trap. Okay. Okay. Ancient magic users. The traditionalist. Okay, now we're getting new faction of enemies that seem pretty fucking strong, right? They look like, um, I think in Korean it's called Samgokji. And in Chinese, it's like the three warring. No, that's not Chinese, that's English. And the English translation is like the three warring kingdoms. They look like they kind of have these kind of designs. <laughs> Shaman King guys? That's gotta be racist! But yes, the Shaman King guys. He's like dating Mizuki. Like, the traditionalist is obviously um, the boss, right? That, uh, what's that guy? The Skeletor looking dude that talks to, uh, you know, Shu Goki, right? The Chinese tea dude, right? Long haired dude, right? That's like his master. He's got a bunch of tubes on him. And what did they say? Their goal was to eventually just, they just don't want like Japan to have power over magic and further enhance their military. And they just want like the traditionalist to kind of do, I don't know if it's like an ancient magic kind of elitist kind of thing, like a type of magic thing, but it's obviously just two factions, one just sides, one side just wants the other to not have power, yeah? Yeah. Commander low priority. Missions of the independence. Next high star. So keep Miyuki safe. And then the next priority is independent magic equipped battalion. I have no clue what that is, but it sounds like a. A mob like an army force. Because it's so dangerous that they don't she doesn't want to feel guilty for ordering. Okay, we're already setting the stakes pretty high for this arc then, huh? I hope they go all out 1v1 fight. She, she was like, look at this. She was looking at the head padding and getting like, oh my god, I'm getting cucked and blushing while drinking the tea, bro. You see this shit? Yotsubake 
Is that that's gotta be like one of Leo's like few lines he's had this season. Holy shit, Erika's talking. Okay. They really just like redoing the same events, huh? They do the fucking seven star tournament. And now it's like, all right, what's next again in season one? Uh, thesis competition. Yeah, we go back there again. Well, I guess these are literal annual events. It makes sense. But really, we're just following the textbook again. Okay. Thesis, you know, competition was fucking lit. Okay, so it's not the same guys, right? It was based on Yoko before and now it's Kyoto. And they got different themes. And this is theoretical themes, guys. Maybe fucking Cardinal George will be yapping out his ass and being applauded for that. What's going on? Sound only? You turn the cam on! That is a crazy fucking monitor. I think it's three side by side like that. It's not actually ultra wide, but goddamn. But as his granddaughter. Yeah. Kudo would love to have a talk. It's a hit job. Yeah, it's he loves Tatsuya. More than Minoru? No. No, it's not more than Minoru, right? What you wearing, Miyuki? Late at night. Okay. Here we go. What you wearing? You cheating on me with Fujibayashi late at night? Okay, so my questions on the independent mate uh, material, independent magic equipment battalion is basically Cosmos and Fujibayashi. The second priority thing that uh, Yotsuba Maya was saying. I did not understand fully <laughs> the acronyms or the difference. Her name is the Electron Sorceress. That's her title? That's kind of cool. That's one of the things I love about Mahoka, about how everyone has like these different titles, right? Or even like events, like Scorched Halloween. <laughs> okay, here's the incest meme. My drink! <laughs> Uh, uh. Whoa, what's that sound? Wait, wait, jokes, no more jokes. Who sent that? One of his subordinates. I don't think we met any recently. The Kurubas got done dirty? Kurubas, that's why they had such a look in their face. That's why they look so guilty in the car. I'm like, what's going on? The vibes are off. Because they love Unisama. Okay. They knew, they knew. <laughs> I love Umiya. What? Baby girl, I just got a regrowth, but okay, okay. That was, that was a nice little moment, but. Oh, it's, what is this arc called? That was a nice moment, but like, you know, I feel like, is that a flag? I mean, he probably is going to get injured. This is the ancient city insurrection part. Holy fuck, the insurrection January 6th is happening. <laughs> She's in the student council, yeah? Okay. Onisama! Chief Secretary. <laughs> the glaze. Ancient magic user. 
<laughs> Minami looking at Izumi like that. I don't know. Is she like, what the fuck? Don't get too close to my madam. More ancient magic jargon? Underground site? Only summons in the dark web? I thought it might be useful. Fujibashi? Hayama. Master Butler, old dude. それでは先日頂戴した任務の件で今回ターゲットの捜索に工藤に様々なディエックスレーサー。僕たちゲームチェア。そのお約束を取り付けました。おお、独立魔装大隊でなく四つ葉の仕事で国防軍に借りを作る
Gotcha. That's where the confusion was. They haven't done their homework at all. <laughs> Do it. Not my girl Shizuku though. No, she'll, no, she'll come out safe. Ninja? This room is always hotboxed. Some history? What do you mean? Yo, are we going to get Mr. Baldi Ninja to fight with us? Police protect them, master. I want to see him more in action. Okay. Oh, open his eyes! Looks like Ikaku from Bleach here. But okay, alright. He actually wants to get involved. Looks like he hates the traditionalists. He has history with them. Satori? A state of what? Some kind of position in Buddhism? I don't know. Post credit scene. Okay, post credit scene. Bunch to do with crossbows. Don't know the yeah, Honoka, you're next, Honoka. Get ready. No, never say that. Never say they should be fine. Oh, but the first class men may not be. Like, we're 100% gonna get attacked in the thesis competition. The same shit happened last time, too. They're coming. They better not hurt my girl, Shizuku. Oh. Shizuku Honoka. <laughs> Shizuku Honoka, man. These two, man. They're actually so good. <laughs> Leo's chilling. <laughs> yeah, Mizuki can't really do shit. I thought Miki could might do it. Yeah, he knows better. Yeah, send it off to Mikiko. What do you mean? You fucking groped her titties like la first season. It's a ship, bro. This is an actual fucking ship. Like, I thought that we got over this phase. I guess staying over is a little bit more intimate. But I thought they were official like, by the end of season one. Monisama is leaving for a while. What was that? Whoa, 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 Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but that's today's episode. Today's episode was a lot of yapping, but that's every episode. And we're setting up a new arc, which is the Ancient Traditionalist Insurrection Arc. There is this group of people who look like, you know, like the three warring kingdoms, like the Sangukchi, um, like Asi Asian designs, and they they got robes and staffs and fans and old weapons, and they are not modern magicians, they're ancient magicians, and I don't really know much about them, because we know we have one, but they're just completely different from what we're familiar with. Their goal is to just reduce the power that modern magic and the military has, I guess it's something that's generic. And they're going after the Yotsuba as anyone kind of affiliated and we are kind of linked but they don't know exactly how. So they assume that we would be ancient magic users. M Aunt Maya kind of telling us that we're still too young. This is some like giga brain plans that she has. I thought that we did perfect there. I thought Onisama, you know, laid down the plans correctly but there's something missing. It's something to do with like the human bond of owing a favor and whatnot but I don't know. I hope that we go over pretty soon. Actually, we did go over there today. I want to see Aunt Maya in a fight. She talks a lot. She talks so much, but I haven't seen her actually fight yet. I'd love to see it actually happen. Kuda was had to do something they didn't like in order for the plan to happen, and Onisama was like fending people off. And now the important thing is our first year, you know, cohort people. Uh, they might be in danger because they're close to Onisama and I want... Uh, who do I want attacked here? That's a terrible thing to say. I kind of want to see Honoka getting attacked and then I want to see Pixie come back and fight together. I don't know, but Onisama is like leaving to Nara and they have to fend for themselves and that's pretty much where we're at. The new ending was also amazing. The soundtrack, the I guess the instrumentals. 
It was like happy and sad, happy and sad. That, that, that contrast was pretty good. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist with more content. And until next time, take care.